This is City Art's 247th project, the first mural in a series of murals throughout the five boroughs that will pay tribute to New York City's heroes. This is really a wall that cries for attention. It's going to be City Arts' biggest, largest mural. Since 1968, City Arts has brought people together to produce public art. And that means mosaic, sculpture, and especially murals. It's all about collaborations. People doing something for their community, for their neighborhood. Join us as we share ideas, draw and paint, and ultimately create a lasting legacy. City Arts, celebrating 39 years of making a difference through the arts. September 11th, it was a turning point for our nation and an opportunity for City Arts to reach out to begin the healing process. It actually was September 12th that Sippy called me and she said there's a real need. We gotta do something fast and can Disney uh, sponsor a wall? Without blinking, we said yes. Forever Tall, a tribute to New York and New Yorkers, is one of City Arts' most powerful murals. The Twin Towers, covered in flowers, makes a bold statement that we'll never forget. Celebrating the heroes of our city became a spectacular way to continue the healing. We start from brainstorming ideas with the artists, with the kids themselves, thinking about what issue they would like to address. Kids of all ages have the opportunity to look at themselves and their community in a different light. The creative process is as important as the end result. They are drawing and thinking and creating poems or uh, writing about their lives and the futures they would like to create for themselves. The artist then creates the maquette, a model, from which the group is actually painting the wall. What I tried to do was to come up with a composite design that used nature as a symbol of a spirit in New York. We're not working on art for art's sake only. We are working on art as a meaningful tool to create better neighborhoods. The time that we took, instead of wasting, or instead of um, going outside or selling drugs in the corner and stuff, we took our time so we could put up the mural. And when you hear a kid says that, you say to yourself, you actually made it. Because if we could get one kid off the street and guide him to an alternative, which is a creative alternative that will help him build a better life, we already made a big success. When we were older, we could come back and we could remember that we did that. Kids from all different cultures and backgrounds are collaborating on expressing what they are. They are celebrating their differences, and they are creating a mural, a sculpture, a mosaic, again, right in their neighborhood. I feel proud and happy, because you still walk past here and just look at a bunch of dirt and everything. And now we paint and something, and people walk by, and they be surprised and stuff, and happy that they could look in here and look at something nice. They understand that where they come from is extremely important. It's the importance of the foundation to build on to the next step. This is it. Okay. Now we're on scaffolding. Awesome. Everything is in the open. A work of art this size can't go unnoticed by the community. So how does a person go about getting involved? Oh, you see. But City Arts and local volunteers can't do it alone. Generous sponsors, professional nice artists, morning. and volunteers of all ages are what make the difference. Anytime. We can okay, use great. any help we can. Oh, wow. There is. And together, we realize that we address an issue that is very important for the community, for the neighborhood. City Arts, keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. We talk to our kids and we tell them that it's not enough to have a great idea and it's not enough to care. You need to dare to make the difference. The funny thing that I think has happened here, I think the kids were attracted to this project first. And they actually drew their parents in. I have a four-year-old grandson, and he was here, and he said, Grandma, I want to paint, I want to paint. So I came right up, and everybody was very pleasant. Gave him a brush, and that was it, and he went to town.
we have a beautiful ribbon cutting ceremony where everyone comes together to celebrate the finished product. We would love to paint 200 more in the parks, I hope. I'm particularly pleased because uh, I came in this country as an immigrant and I see that Ellis Island, the immigrant coming over here, that's represented. The sphere of America is represented here. And by thinking globally but acting locally, City Arts projects like the Pieces for Peace Mosaic offer something truly unique. The 16-year-old student from Israel has already left her mark on the city. She's one of seven international students invited to create this mosaic mural with local youth. We have so many people from so many different places and we can get along. Fiji native Eli Koino says his involvement with the 10-day residency program has been rewarding. Peace really involves uh, cooperation and a togetherness and involvement and also commitment. And working on this wall has actually shown a lot of determination and commitment of other races. The ideas of the children are the best ideas they are. But there are so many that uh, we have to come up with uh, some sort of drawing or design which will hold most of them together. Our murals are 99% graffiti free. Kids are extremely protective of them because they feel the sense of ownership. They feel the sense of pride. You truly have to take the moment and remember that you are here on this globe to make a better life for yourself. This journey of creation may appear to have ended, but it will continue to make a powerful visual statement. I want to think I did that. I did some of it. My greatest hope for City Arts is truly to be able to say yes to at least 50% of the requests that we are getting from the neighborhoods and the schools. I truly hope that one day soon we will have the sponsors we need so we will never say no to a community that calls us and asks for our attention to address the issues that they have with young and old together. City Arts, celebrating 39 years of making a difference through the arts.